guys on defense challenged me the most. Like Ruben, Trey, when he was there, like we always had like this is a thing on defense. But we just we just challenged each other. We kept each other going. Did it ever get so intense in practice that like fights broke out or whatever? Because every football team, absolutely, I, was on, absolutely. I lost. Absolutely. <laughs> man, you was on the damn prison football team. What you thought about? <laughs> Shut up, man. Y'all playing in the wreck yard of the county jail with yeah. the murderers and I, robbers. I, hey, hey, <laughs> so, so, I, hey. You and Tim were called the Bash Brothers, and quite honestly, we hadn't seen any combo like you guys since really John Copeland and Eric Curry and that 92 national championship team. You know, week after week, it basically was meet me at the quarterback. What was that competition like between the both of you guys? I, I, it was fun. It was fun. You know, that was that was some of the most fun I had playing football. Not even with just you know me and Tim. You know, it was we had some great guys inside that that freed us up like that. You know what I mean? So that's that's a, that's the reason we had so many one on ones. We just had to go out there and win them. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it was fun though. It was real. You miss fun. them days, don't you? Yeah, it was fun. It, it go by so fast, man. I wanted to go there to be like Upshaw. Like that's what I that's the role I wanted to play in that defense. Uh, okay, that's what so, I'm talking about. Courtney, that's my guy, man. Hey, hey, my guy. Yeah, man. definitely. But it was like I say, it was so many dogs. Trey, like him, even guys that a lot of people ain't really get to see play much. Like it was, it's like a lot of dogs play linebacker there. So, so what was the most defining part of your game? What was that dominating thing that made you excel opposed to everybody else? Because you know, everybody know when they go on that field, they know that one, two, they got in that two box, that ain't nobody going to stop them when they pull it out. Yeah, I, I would have to say it was just like my my mentality. Like, I just, I, just, I wasn't going to let you beat me. Like, the run game, I wanted to punish you, punish blockers. Like, I just wanted to be... I always wanted to be like making contact with anything and anybody. So that's just how I felt. I feel like whoever was over there wasn't going to take it as far as I would. And I do that every day. Man, so making so contact. Impressive. All right, on, on making contact. On that note, in about five years, you want to get them shoulders checked because they're going to feel like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you yeah. from experience. <laughs> yeah, I know it come with it. You know? Hey, Ryan, so off of something you just said, though, like, like you said, a lot of people that like people don't get to see him play. Who would you say was like that the best the best player that nobody really got to see? You know who I'm gonna say on like, Tanae. That's yeah. Tanae Patrick. Tanae. Oh yeah. Tanae was a dude. He, he was one of them dudes. Yeah, yeah man. Tanae remind folks kill. about what he he could well, do. Well, why why well, why is it why, why didn't we get to see him that much? I don't know. Hey, bro, we ain't hey, I don't know. I know. I know. I know. I know who you're talking about. You know. Hey, yeah. He, he. Hey, oh, so he, so, so he was a baller like, like that? He gonna He'll hit kill you. you. He gonna hit you. <laughs> Straight wow. up and down. He'll kill you. 